we're going to use the example of a ceramics company called A Plate of Fish, designing crockery inspired by the sea. Now, to create a root cause diagram, we first draw out what we call a tree, with the problem highlighted on the right-hand side of the page. With a plate of fish, this is relating to computer data entry errors, which is leading to a loss of revenue, duplication of resources, and disgruntled customers given the wrong order. After that, you need to draw the main bones of the diagram, relating to the problem. So, a main backbone or spine, and then up to a maximum of six branches off this backbone. Typically, however, there are just four branches which cover methods and processes, manpower or people, materials, and finally, machines, or the environment that you are working within. So, plate of fish employees were first asked why these data errors keep occurring. What's going on in their day-to-day -day working lives that's causing all of these issues? Well, the employees and managers all came back with a host of reasons, the primary ones being that it was down to lack of supervision untrained staff, stress and pressure at work, the data batches themselves being too long, the technology being out of date, and finally the keyboards not functioning properly. You would accordingly categorize each problem in one of the four sections of the fishbone diagram. In some cases, not all, you can question the causes further. Why is there pressure and stress at work? In the case of our ceramics company, it was down to no regular breaks and unrealistic deadlines set by the manager. Why does the company still have out-of-date technology? Maybe this is down to the fact that they have not had a software review for the past five years. Keep asking why about each and every issue, challenging everything with a simple why. This further breaking down of a cause is called a subsidiary bone. There is no limit in the number of subsidiary bones that you can have within a fishbone diagram. Once you have written down all the potential problems, you will then have a visual outline of your fishbone diagram like this. Using this diagram, you would then work with your team to find out the root cause or causes of the problem. Now, there are three methods to achieve this. Firstly, there's the Eureka moment, where you can see by simple intuition what the root cause is. For a plate of fish, for example, they realized intuitively and through awareness of the process that it was the lack of regular breaks that was leading to many of these data entry issues. In other cases, you may not have had that Eureka moment, and you'll need to investigate further and gather data around each of the courses to see which one is causing the most disruption and where the biggest problem is. So, for example, with pressure at work in our ceramics company, there was a clear correlation between late working hours and the highest number of errors. This was therefore one of the fundamental root causes of the problem to which the company found a clear and simple solution. Thirdly, if it is difficult to gather data, you can use a voting system to gauge people's opinion across the function in order to unearth the root cause, based upon their own day-to-day -day experiences and intuition. From the voting generated by the staff, you can then isolate certain causes and investigate further to see which, if any, were at the root cause of the problem. So. There are three ways to get to the root cause of a problem. Firstly, by intuition. Secondly, by some instantly available data. And thirdly, through a voting mechanism leading to further investigation to back up those findings.